In this video, I've got an update for you on my affiliate marketing website, wheelalong.co.uk, which is a site I created quite recently. Did a full length video on how I created the site. I'll put a link up to that now. And well, I haven't given you guys an update for about two months. So I thought it was about time that I shared with you how the site's doing and all the work that I've been doing on the site. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some information on all the content that I've been adding. Also gonna be talking a little bit about that link building that I did on a live stream a couple of weeks ago. Did you see it? You didn't? Oh, well, let me fill you in. Basically, I went live on a Thursday afternoon and we did some outreach uh, to try and get some guest posts and build links to the site. And well, we were able to build one link, which isn't bad for, I don't think, for, uh, for an afternoon's work. And I'll, I'll share with you the details on that in this video. I'm also very pleased to say that the site has generated a few more Amazon Hooray! sales. So I'll be going into all the detail on that as well. So I think we should get started. Let's go. It's Alex here from WP Eagle. Uh, let's start with the figures, shall we? Uh, let's take a look at traffic first. I'll put analytics up now. And well, not too much to report. We've had 481 users um, in October, which is down 35%. Uh, not great. <laughs> and then if we look at sessions, we had 408, which is down 37%. And if we drill into where the traffic came from, we can see that the biggest decline is actually in the direct traffic. So I'm guessing it's YouTube related, related? I can't even speak, YouTube related. Um, basically the video that I did where I created the site is maybe not getting as many views as it was before. So less people are clicking through or typing in the website to come and check it out. So, well, that's not real traffic in my, in my opinion. It's not people looking for wheelbarrows. So I'm not too worried about that. And in fact, if we look at organic traffic, there's not been really any change on that. I think it's down like 3%, which is nothing. Uh, it's just kind of bobbing along as it was before. Now in terms of organic traffic, I still think the site is probably in the Google sandbox. So it's not gonna get a lot of Google traffic at the moment. Still need to wait a couple more months for that to kick in. Let's take a look at those earnings. So here is amazon.co.uk. And we can see that we generated £3.16 in October, which at the current exchange rate is around $4.11. If we drill into the products, we can see that we sold a garden cart, which is not quite a wheelbarrow, but it's related. And I'm sure we talk about it in a few of the posts on the site. Um, but that's great news, because that shows that it's a real sale. It's someone who came through, um, the site, maybe they did come from organic search and they were looking for a wheelbarrow and they ended up buying a wheelbarrow related product. So I'm really pleased with that. The other quite interesting thing is some of the other products that were purchased. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on those because I don't want this video to be flagged as inappropriate or whatever, but yeah, it's amazing what people buy on Amazon, isn't it? In terms of the work I've been doing on the site, we've added loads more content and it's really good high quality content written by Karen, my British writer. I did an interview with Karen a little while back actually. If you wanna go check that out, you'll find a link up there and also in the description. But yeah, we've been adding some really good content and we're now up to, I think it's about 41 articles. So the content production is going really well. In fact, we're kind of at the target amount of content that I was aiming for when I created the site. So I may slow down the content um, production for at least a few months just to save a bit of money. Um, I think there's a couple more articles that are being written, but yeah, then I might leave it and just um, focus on some other activity on the site. And that other activity is link building. Now, yes, I know at the beginning I said that I wasn't really gonna do any link building, but I think the site needs a little push just to get it moving and get it out of that Google sandbox. And I'm not sure that the Pinterest and the Quora is gonna be enough, which I have been doing some Quora um, link building. In fact, that brings me nicely on to the link building part of this video. I did a live stream a couple of weeks back, which was focused on link building for um, this website. And you can always watch that again if you'd like. I'll put a video link, a card link, whatever you call those links, one of those up there. You can go watch that stream. It is a couple of hours long, so make sure you've got uh, plenty of time. But during the stream, we 
tried to do some link building and I did a bit of core link building and it seemed to go pretty well. I uh, answered a couple of wheelbarrow related questions and the answers seemed to stick. The other link building that I was attempting to do was guest post outreach sort of link building where I basically searched Google for gardening related websites that were accepting um, content or accepting guest posts and yeah, basically approach them either via their form or via their email addresses, asking whether they'd like a lovely piece of content on wheelbarrows. Now, because I only spent an hour or so on this, I was only able to approach a handful of sites. And anyone who's ever done outreach will know that you need to send out quite a few more emails than that in order to get a good response. And in fact, only one of them actually replied and said, yeah, we'll take a guest post. So I was like, yeah, fantastic, we've got one. And they also wanted, I think, $30, maybe it was $40, which is fine, which is fine. You know, there is an expense sometimes when it comes to link building. So yeah, I bit the bullet and I've um, sent over the money and yeah, I got a link and, and here it is. It's on a garden related um, site and the site's got a pretty good uh, DR rating or DA or whatever, pretty good domain ranking, rating, authority, score, you know, that number that everyone uses to uh, decide how good a site is. You can get it from uh, Ahrefs and place like that. So yeah, we build a link there. Um, I'm gonna continue doing more guest post outreach, and try to build a few more links, hopefully without having to pay. But as I've been talking to people that also have affiliate sites and other sorts of sites where they do link building, this seems to be quite common uh, where <laughs> you reach out and Say, so, do you want a guest post? And they go, yeah, but you need to send me some money. So if that's how it works, that's how it works. You know, I'm fine with that. And that's it for the October update. I'll try and do these updates a little bit more regularly. I haven't been doing them because there really wasn't much to talk about. Um, but yeah, last month or so, there has been a few things to talk about. Thus, I made this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know how your websites are getting on. Do leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you enjoyed this video, why not click the like button? And if you're not already subscribed, why not do so right now and then you'll be notified when I upload a new video or when I go live on the live stream, which I tend to do every single week. But for now, that's all. I'll see you next time. Good luck with your sights.